In a commanding display at Loftus Versfeld, the Springboks asserted their dominance over the Wallabies, securing a resounding 43-12 victory. This defeat marks the Wallabies' heaviest loss against the Springboks since 2008, raising concerns for coach Eddie Jones ahead of the upcoming Rugby World Cup in France. Despite the Springboks fielding a squad without several key players, including those already in New Zealand preparing for the clash with the All Blacks, the home side showcased their strength and depth, leaving no doubt about their capabilities. However, tensions rose during the post-match press conference when a South African journalist questioned Jones about his earlier disappointment regarding the Springboks team selection. Jones responded sharply, expressing his frustration with the journalist's insinuation that the Springboks lineup was inferior. Eddie, you expressed your disappointment in the week that you weren't playing the first choice Springboks side. Is that a bit of relief now? The reporter asked, prompting a lashing from the veteran coach. South Africans are good at winning. You don't have to be a smart ass mate, Jones said. We were well and truly beaten today by a Springboks side that old mate is calling the B team, right? I never knew there was a Springboks side that was called the B team. Jones confronted the journalist after the press conference, demanding more respect. You don't have to be a smart ass mate, Jones said again. You should have more respect, mate. I never said that, mate. I said we always want to play the best. Show some respect. Jones said. As the Springboks continue their preparations for the Rugby World Cup, the victory over the Wallabies serves as a statement of their prowess and determination. With the tournament fast approaching, both teams are gearing up for the ultimate test on the global stage. What are your thoughts on Eddie Jones' heated exchange with the journalist after the match? What are your thoughts on the Springboks' dominant victory over the Wallabies? Do you think the Wallabies have what it takes to bounce back? Let us know in the comments below.